Joining us on the phone now is debt and credit analyst and founder of Credit U-Turn. It's a fully automated do-it-yourself mobile credit repair station. That sounds pretty handy dandy. Yeah, nice. Lee Kendrick joins us this morning. Hey, Lee, thanks for joining Ditching Me in Memphis. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing fantastic. Yourself? Yeah, doing well. You know, the middle of March, it was a bit of a paradigm shift as we all were sent to go whole up as the world uh, changed with with coronavirus, uh, tens of millions of jobs lost, and with that, I'm sure uh, a, maybe a little bit of a credit crisis in some households. Yes, you're exactly right. Uh, you know, the uh, amount of unsecured credit card debt nationally has just risen and risen and risen over the last uh, couple of decades. We're, I think they're approaching a trillion in unsecured credit card debt out there. And with the pandemic, uh, all of the credit card issuers are very concerned about that. So they're they're mitigating risk right now, and they're slashing credit card limits because of it. And with that, if they're slashing credit, it would naturally follow, I guess, that credit scores are starting to dip? Yes, exactly. So you've got a $2,500 balance on a credit card. You've got a $10,000 limit, and they reduce your limit to, say, 5000 Now you're using 50% of your limit. If they reduce it to 2500 now you're fully maxed out. We actually recently saw a case where a woman – had a $2,700 balance on a $10,000 credit card that they reduced to a $500 limit, and now she was overutilizing. Uh, she was overextended on that credit card, and it tanked her credit scores almost 150 points literally overnight. Yeah, it just dings it, man. Well, and I understand what credit card companies are they're worried about. They're worried about not getting paid because if, if it's a difference between paying the light bill or paying Capital One, you yep. know, you I gotta, mean, you have to, yeah, you got to look out for basic necessities first. And there are a lot of Americans that have been living on credit cards. There are also some Americans that are actually doing a pretty good job with paying down their debt because I think that they're uh, concerned about getting limits slashed also. So they've been reaching into other areas of their life and whether it's uh, retirement funds or they've got cash on them, but they're also becoming a little bit more aware of this issue and so they're trying to protect their credit rating what it sounds like to me lee with these horror stories that you and i said horror stories that uh, you've given us is that it may be a good idea at some point today take five minutes take 10 minutes and review your credit report and your credit score probably a good idea just to make sure nothing has snuck up on you Yes, you're exactly right. In fact, I wouldn't even procrastinate. If somebody's uh, listening to you right now, I'd tell them they need to go check their credit like right now um, and don't put that off. And they need to monitor that on a frequent basis. And, and I really recommend using a solution that provides you with real-time alerts because the credit card issuers don't have to tell you when they've reduced your limit. But if you've got real-time alerts on a credit monitoring solution, then it's just going to tell you when that happens anyway so that you're not freaking out and checking your credit every hour. Lee Kendrick joining us on Memphis Morning News. If they see, if someone sees an issue, then what should they do? Uh, uh, you have rights. You have rights by federal laws. The uh, Fair Credit uh, Reporting Act is the number one uh, law that's going to help you uh, fight back against the credit agencies. So anything that's not 100% accurate, 100% complete, and 100% verifiable or it's obsolete information, you have a right to challenge and or dispute that information directly with those credit agencies. And they have 30 days to fully investigate and return the results of the investigation back to you. Uh, the typical challenge is people just, you've got so much going on and trying to manually keep up with that yourself is, is a challenge. So your other options are utilizing like a credit repair company that charges you monthly fees or per item that they get deleted or fixed on your credit report, or you can automate it. Well, and I think most people, you know, you brought up the fair credit, uh, you, your rights. You, ask, you, you get a room full of 10 people and ask them if they know what that is or, or what is just one of their rights based on that, and none of them would be able to tell you. You're, you're right, and most people don't know that. And, again, that's really a reason why you need to be able to have a solution that knows how to detect any of the information that might be negative or damaging in your reports and that helps you automate that uh, for you so that you're not having to uh, educate yourself. Because, literally, it could take you years to learn everything that you really need to know uh, in order to uh, maximize your own credit uh, outside of you just accessing credit and paying your bills on time. 
Thank you so much, Lee Kendrick, joining us on Memphis Morning News. Again, uh, Credit U-Turn. He is the uh, founder of that. It's an automated do-it-yourself mobile credit repair solution. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your insight. Please don't be a stranger. Love to having you on this morning.